Hi everyone! In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make chocolate mousse using whipped aquafaba. The first ingredient is chocolate. There is no other sweetener in this recipe, so use the chocolate you actually enjoy eating. Add the chocolate into a medium saucepan and melt it over low heat. If you're worried about burning the chocolate, you can set up a double broiler instead of using direct heat. Once melted, transfer the chocolate into a large bowl and let it cool. Next up is aquafaba. I have an entire video dedicated to making homemade aquafaba from dried chickpeas and then whipping it, so I won't go into much detail here. I will leave a link to the video in the description box below if you're interested. I will just say that the most important thing is to start with the right consistency of aquafaba. It should be very similar to egg whites and then whip the aquafaba until stiff peaks form. I use a hand mixer and it usually takes about 12 minutes before I see stiff peaks. Once you see stiff peaks, stop whipping because just like egg whites, you can over whip aquafaba. Now the chocolate and the aquafaba should both be at room temperature before you mix them. If the aquafaba is much colder than the chocolate, the chocolate will begin to solidify as soon as you add the aquafaba, resulting in grainy mousse. Hot chocolate can also make the aquafaba collapse. The way you mix aquafaba with the chocolate is also important. You can either stream the chocolate into the aquafaba while the mixer is running or gently fold the aquafaba into the chocolate. If you just pour the chocolate into the aquafaba without the mixer running, the chocolate will immediately sink and be much harder to mix in properly. The aquafaba may deflate a little when you're mixing it, but that's okay. Spoon the mousse into individual glasses and let it set in the fridge for at least 2 hours. And that's it, fluffy and airy aquafaba chocolate mousse.